Hey guys, Tyguy here. Uh, this will be my first video after Valkor Cup 2, so I apologize for any sloppy video edits. Uh, still trying to get a hold of things. Uh, probably actually won't even edit this video. I'm planning to wing it anyways. Editing just takes far too long, and uh, currently editing another video, and it's taking me months because I want everything to be perfect. Uh, but anyways, in this video, I'll be demonstrating a mid to late game Vega build that involves uh, ints to destroyers to uh, cruisers and vets. Uh, there's a Hargard one that Fear uploaded a couple years ago. I highly recommend checking it out and we'll leave a link to the video in the description below. But anyways, we're gonna get started here. Uh, we'll have a CPU. I don't have anybody live to play with me right now. We'll have it random. And I'm probably gonna have it positions 1 and 5. You can have it 2 and 4, you know, 3 and 6, anything uh, asymmetrical would be perfect. Uh, we are playing on 2.3's players patch and this is the test version. Uh, only difference is a couple of balancing. I think uh, scout speed was slightly nerfed to be um, all of them are the same now including Vager for the speed upgrade and I think the salt frigate also got buffed for home of one. Fairly, fairly strong right now. Um, but anyways, we're going to get started. We don't want any of these, no relics, no craters. Um, presets of high, it could be in standard if you want, 3000. Now, as soon as I spawn, I'm going to move my carrier to the second patch. And we're going to start saturating both patches immediately. I'm going to make scout, Q5 collectors. Um, I'm going to probably send two here, five on my main, and that is because you don't want all seven to be on the same patch. Vegas, the flagship spawns seven uh, collectors instead of six, like home of one in Hagarn. Um, disadvantages, Vagar collectors and harvest slightly lower, I think, resources than the home of one in Hagarn ones. Here's my scout, I'm gonna send it out. Enemies right about here. Now at the one minute mark, I'm gonna queue up a resource, uh, research module. And I'll probably queue up fighter facility as soon as my capital class gets started. Now why do I queue up research module at the one minute mark? And that is because uh, in a real game, you don't want to show your opponent your tech quickly so they can have them second guessing what exactly are you making. In this case, if I were to go interceptor, interceptor, they would be finished about now. I think it's about 45 seconds. So, 45 seconds in, they wouldn't know that I'm going in. Um, or even if they go capital class facility, they would know immediately if they scouted. So you want them to be second guessing exactly what build you're doing. You don't want to show them, oh, this is exactly what I'm doing, so you better respond. Um, now my my research is done. We're gonna queue up fighters and a carrier. I'm gonna make some oops, some waypoints here. Um, and then we're gonna saturate a third patch. We're gonna actually get three patches here. Now ideally you want, uh, I think minimum 16, and ideally you want 18 collectors to pull this build off. But you could do 16 and it's in case you're in a you know, very tight situation of, uh, you must be built, oh I forgot to queue up my refinery. Um, usually you want to queue up refinery before this collector finishes, so after your fourth collector finishes then you queue up refinery. But anyways, I was, what I was saying. Upgrades available. Carrier fighter facility, fighter facility you want to start fighters. Make sure you dock them so you don't show how many you have. What I was saying is, if you have 16 collectors, you want to make sure. Are you kidding me? Research destroyers immediately as soon as the facility is done. If you have 16, it means that you're like going ints first on the flagship before you go the research of the destroyer. Um, and that's like. On maps like Nexus Evolution or um, Demon's Den, something that you have to help your or you have to help your um, teammates if it's a two v two, or you have to defend against Int Rush if it was a one v one. So, 
pretty ways. I started destroy research as soon as I had the possibility to, and then we immediately followed up on improved manufacturing. Um, are you blocking at this stage? Doesn't really matter. Um, you do actually probably want to move one collector from here to here, because this is five patch, this is a six patch. I believe these are four, there's one here and there's one over here. So the rest are five, five, and there's a center one. Now my opponent, interesting, is going caps first. So the CPU is able to build carriers right now. Um, they should not be able to afford to research cruisers. I mean, they could, but it would take a really long time. Now this is done. Now I want to build a carrier. As soon as my destroyer research is about, it's supposed to be a bit sooner. Um, so that way you were able to pop a carrier up. I want to pause this. We'll be able to afford both at the same time. 17 collectors, I missed my thing by one. Oh well. But you, the purpose of this is the carry will be finished as soon as your research will be finished. So, when probably, it's, I mean, I did it a bit s slower, so my carry will be finished before the research, but you can always pause it for your or you to catch up. Roger. <clears throat> Now, as soon as this is finished, you queue up destroyers as soon as you can, and then you resume building hints on the carrier. And as soon as the carrier is built done, then you start researching again. Now, since this is, I'm gonna pretend this is a 1v1, you start pushing your flagship up, and you leave your second carrier behind. Scouts, what's going on here? Okay, same thing. You want to queue up fighters, go on 18 collectors. Now, I should have enough. Yeah, I should have enough to pull my tech, tech, build, build. Um, I might get RU blocked for like maybe a second or two, but you should be able to afford uh, all of these. It's chasing you with a scout. Okay, research is done. Now I want to research speed for ints next, but I don't need it right now. Um, what that means is... Wait a moment. There's a collector here. You put it back. This is six. Nope, five. Uh, what that means is... If, there's an, if the enemy doesn't have fighters, then you can invest your resources into something else like teching up maybe you want to go into vets if you want uh frigates is an option um, but in this case since there's not really ints i don't really need to research speed but i'm going to anyways because if this was a 2v2 or 1v1 you need to um, ints without speed are very very fragile okay this is almost done got a waypoint them on top. Um, doesn't look like they're doing anything. There's a research controller. Second one. A third one. Wow. So research controllers are a thousand resources. So that is three thousand dollars invested. That's a terrible idea. You never want to burn that much cash. Um, instead, you could have made eight more collectors and have the carrier go in the second patch like maybe here and have five six seven and the rest on the mothership that would have been a much better option uh, but hey i mean this is expert ai this is what you get uh, now as soon as the destroyer pops up you control a group and you push it up now if this was a real game you have an option to research uh, hole you don't want to research speed it's a lot of money really really game but if you research hole you can uh, hold this build queue off until it holds complete and you will be able to afford it but since there's no real reason to research hole then I won't and instead go on vet tech the, uh, the op or sorry the the reason why you would want to research this is if you're being mirror built against 
a destroyer rush. So this, like, I don't see any other tech. This could be a destroyer rush. I've never seen AI do destroyer rush. This is pretty cool. Um, but that would be the reason why you would do this. But in this case, I'm pretty confident my micro can out micro CPU. So my vets got done. Ideally, you also want to make scouts with EMP, but I'm not going to. As soon as this int is finished, I will queue up that and a research of all refinery. Assault craft squadron complete. Assembly underway. New construction options available. Construction underway. Now if I want to finish the game faster, you just undock. Undock. Confirmed. Strike group. Oh, it's a carrier. So they went fighters and carriers. Okay, that's fair enough. Very uh, terrible decision. <laughs> Like he, as you can see, I have a destroyer and he has absolutely nothing. He could get bombers as home of one, but this is pretty much game over. Because all of these guys are coming in. Oh, how do I have my waypoint down there? Now, since I have so much money, I'm going to start building hyperspace module. Use scouts that are not going to do anything. Enemy probe detected. Strike group prepare for assault. Destroyer under attack. Moving while engaging. Copy. Group this is two. carrier almost Order done. Mobile refinery complete. Assault craft squadron complete. And we're gonna target. Ideally, in this case, you'd want to target collectors, but I just would finish the game faster. Now my vets are done. I could go lasers to counter any type of frigates that they would push out. But since you're going vets, I'm absolutely going missiles. Um, I would say Vega missile corvettes are probably the best against. Uh, dock that. Uh, Vega missile corvettes are probably the best against Homeworld One swarm in general, uh, just because it's really hard to kill them unless you focus them down. And if you have a cloak on your docking ships, like a carrier or a flagship, it is extremely hard to kill them. And they're light corvettes, so they're counter countering my fighters. Um, this doesn't really matter. I'm just doing this because. I'm too used to it. Group two Strike group under enemy attack. Now, my hyperspace got done, so I'm gonna build hyperspace module. See how much money I'm floating though? I would, usually you would wanna research hole. Um, there's no real reason for me to, but in this case I will since I'm floating so much. And I'll be build a refinery. Group three designated. Strike group coordinates locked in. Strike group receiving flyer. Group two standing by. Reporting. Strike group um, this is position. pretty much game over, but the build still uh, holds true. There will be some timing differences between. This is a really fast one, simply because there's no units for to kill my ints. Um, but there will be some times where you will be your slow, your builds will be slower because you'll be rebuilding your fighters. Um, but in this case, since it's nothing, I forgot to put my refinery. Uh, don't do this. As soon as the refinery comes out, you move it below the carrier. What is this waypoint? Who has this? That's not that one. It's the flagships? The flagships, okay. Okay, here's my third destroyer. Oh, now he has a destroyer. Now this will be fun. Now my hyperspace module finished, you move the refinery here and you move the carrier up. Ideally, you don't want to even build a refinery, you can build a shipyard and have it as your refinery. We're gonna dock these two. And then the corvettes will go against... Let's start chasing the collectors. Now, this destroyer is focusing this one. You want to move it back so that it brings this one in. Now it's focusing this, you push it back in. The healthy ones are pushed in. You always push the healthy ones in and try to lure uh, the enemy destroyer into shooting the, the weaker one. Now it's focusing on this, so you push these back in. Oh, I have. I lost a couple of fighters here. Ah, we'll dock them all anyways. 
standing by. Group two reporting. Destination canceled. Docking with mothership. Now as soon as my shipyard is done, you usually have it right here in the park it where your collectors are at, but it's okay. Um, you queue up two collectors while you're building capital class facility. And in the meantime, you can probably start targeting down collectors with my vets. These are lights, lights, okay. A better option for Ve or for Hagarn, or sorry, for Humboldt 1 uh, would have been multi-guns. Lights are real, they're good. Uh, but multi guns are really, really good right now. They're they're exceptional. If you get about ten of them, they can clean fighters pretty easily. Um, you will lose you will lose a couple of them, but it's not the point. You will still win eventually. This is taking forever. And that was because I was building. There's another destroyer. Can probably move this one a bit back. Um, ideally. Since my flagship's up here and my carrier, um, if I weren't building a shipyard, you would get fire control towers from both of them. So that would be a damn. I forgot what percentage it was. It was like six or seven uh, damage bonus, which is really really good. Um, but since I'm doing shipyard, and I can't really afford to do that right now. Uh, these go back. Now since this is also homeworld 1, you'd also want to have a grav wheel on here. Oops, I forgot to build that on here. Recycle. Build. Build. This can go right here. This can go take out collectors. Strike group to battle positions. Roger. Group 5. Attack run initiated. Group 3 reinforced. Group 3 assigned. Ready. Group two. Couple of mic mi micro by. here. Group two. Um, now, why did I recycle hyperspace? Uh, that is because you are able to afford... You won't be able to... You will be able to afford a lot easier... Collection confirmed. Group 2 copy. Your, uh, your proof manufacturing and your capital class facility at the same time. If you didn't recycle it, you would have our... You would be our U block right now. Uh, but since I recycled it, I got back, got back about a thousand, so that helps a lot in terms of rushing. Now, now this mothership is really tanky. Now, if I was a real game and I didn't lose a single destroyer, I would start plat tech on my flagship, or I'll build another carrier. Um, but in this case, I'll just you know, target down the mothership until it dies. I'm missing a couple of fighters somewhere. Group three reinforced. Since I'm missing a couple of fighters, I'll let my Group flagship take it out. Flagship production underway. Assembly underway. Berths are clear. Confirmed. Move order confirmed. Assembly underway. You don't Earth want carriers. You don't want this. Underway. Group two under attack. And you don't want idle collectors either. Sorry, pay. talking and playing are kind of difficult. <laughs> Yeah, this mothership is extremely okay. As another destroyer, he's probably gonna target this one down though. Now I think I am at 22, 21. What? New upgrades available. Flagship fighter facility complete. Fear. Oh, that's right. Um, this patch also has it that if you. Oh, wait a minute, what is that? That's a missile destroyer. Oh, interesting. This one is stuck. Yeah, missile destroyer isn't the right answer. It would be a good answer for when I had the vets over here killing his collectors. Uh, but now it's far too late. So much money, I'm gonna start researching upgrades for the vets. And I probably will build an int and a carrier first. Since if you have so much money, like 4k, uh, just throw it in a carrier. You could use a uh, carrier upgrade. But in my opinion, this is only really good when you have a certain build, which is a HMF, HMF spam build. Other than that, this is pretty useless. It drains a lot of cash when you first build it, and then it drains even more cash when you uh, start using it. So, 
I usually don't like that. Don't like that upgrade unless I do HMF uh, spam, which it in it itself is an extremely good build. Here's a extra carrier. We're gonna be researching frigates here shortly. In the meantime, he's gonna make a couple salts. Missile Corvette Squadron complete. Flagship underway. And uh, this will wait until my frigates are done. What is this? Okay. And that's about it. This is basically the build. It's really strong in multiplayer. I would say it's probably the most versatile build for Vager. I might upload, I might play a game and upload a a reaction build to this. So I'd be going this build, but I'll react to what the enemy is doing based on what the situation is. Whether or not it's a 1v1 or 2v2. And then do some commentary with it to give you guys a better idea. Um, but this is just basically the build. It's quite simple to... Uh, oops. To master it. Group two standing by. Group two standing by. Group three standing by. Strike group attack order. Okay. And that's about it. So, if you guys have any questions in terms of uh, timing or any other builds, maybe you like to see HMF. Uh, there's a Hagar and Torp. There's a couple home world one builds. Uh, there's certain builds on certain maps, like Shield, uh, Demon's Den, Fallen Lords is a really versatile map. It's a medium-sized map, but you can do a lot of a lot of uh, rushes or macro plays. It's my favorite map overall. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try my best to respond as soon as I can. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.